Today, I listened to a podcast about skincare and scientific proof of efficacy, and it made me so sad as the conclusion was that basically nothing works except for tretinoin because nothing can penetrate the skin due to the molecule being too big or not fat soluble. Are we all just wasting our time here by doing a, the surface work and not having long-term impact? Ooh, this is such a good question. I really like this. <laughs> There's actually a lot to unpack here. Yes. So uh, first things first, ingredients that are not fat soluble slash the surface level thing, that is a thing, right? So a lot of what chemist, um, chemist does is, you know, you have to make sure that your active ingredients are solubilized and stable. There's a lot of bioavailability theories and studies and a lot of work that goes into how do you maximize an active ingredient. You can pack it in an emulsion system. There are liposomes. There are encapsulations. There are just... Or it doesn't matter based on clinical tests. So for example, vitamin C is a classic. Ascorbic acid is water-soluble. And time and time again, it's been demonstrated in clinical uh, in clinical tests to have efficacy. So then that gets to the second layer of the question, which is, are we just doing surface work? Well, we can only say we're doing <laughs> surface work because of, you know, regulation. Hello, FDA. <laughs> yeah. Um, so in closing years a little bit, the way a skincare ingredient usually gets validated, there's a couple, there's a lot of tests that goes behind it. You might have in vitro tests, where they're, um, the ingredients tested for, for antioxidant capacity, for example, and then maybe it's tested directly on, say, your skincare cells. And those tests, and this is why Victoria and I always harp on, these tests are step one, right? If they work on a Petri dish on your skincare cells, that's promising, but that doesn't mean that when you apply it on your skin, it's getting to those cells because the cells that's tested can be deeper in the skin, right? then at the end of the day, we always have to refer back to clinical evidence. And there's a lot there that we can do. And for us, uh, a lot of these ingredients that, you know, this podcast may have referred to as it doesn't work, there are a lot of clinical evidence that says otherwise. Yeah. The truth always lies somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. This is a, quite a grand sweeping statement. Mm -hmm. Gloria is absolutely right. Anything that, uh, let's say any topical that manipulates anything below the stratum corneum is considered a drug. There's certain lingo that if you use that basically changes skin morphology, it would be considered flagging as a drug. And this is actually more sweeping than you might think. So mm -hmm. something very common is like boost collagen production. Mm -hmm. You're technically not supposed to say that. Yeah, exactly. So, but I also should say there are some ingredients that get touted as anti-aging that are truly too big and will not penetrate. For example, collagen is the best example of that. So hopefully that makes you feel better. Your skincare can work. Brands just can't tell you sometimes how they're working for yeah. you. And there's enough clinicals out there to show you that there, there is a long-term benefit. It just takes a lot of time. And Gordon, and I can tell you there is a piece of our formulation work where it we just basically try to optimize Mm -hmm. the penetration of some of these ingredients for better efficacy. Um, so that's <laughs> the whole picture. Yeah, and, and I do want to highlight one last piece of this is there also isn't anything wrong with doing quote-unquote surface work. Yeah. For example, hydration, you're maintaining your stratum corneum, yeah. actually a very important part of skincare. Another thing is your AHA, your exfoliation. Um, without using really high levels, you're just exfoliating you know, the top layers of your stratum corneum, but that actually impacts your general skin health as a whole. So I would argue that surface work is actually also part of it as well. As age prevention. Yes. Totally agree. Awesome. All right. So that's the end of this episode. We hope it's helpful, at least <laughs> painting a picture yes. um, in this realm and why Gore and I have such a hard time with this category, answering questions on pregnancy um, Why well, we refuse to do this until one of us is actually <laughs> pregnant? Because uh, what do we know? 